Hi everyone, I wanted to narrate this video. I'm not sure how it will go over with the general public. So I felt it needed an explanation. Our dogs bite. They always have and they always will. Our job as owner of these dogs is to keep them safe from themselves because they make really bad decisions. We know what to expect from the dogs and, and how to expect it, but we have no control over other people's actions. So basically, we manage them when they are in uncontrolled environments. We cannot predict what other people will do when they see the dogs. We can't predict what other, what other animals will do or the environment but we can predict what they will do in different situations. So always safety first. We have to cross the border every weekend or every other weekend when we take the dogs down to the trailer. And going up to the border is an uncontrolled environment for, uh, for us. We don't know if the border guard is gonna put his hands in the car thinking they're friendly. They usually want the windows undone to see in the back. Anyways, from our experience, going through the border, it's been absolute pandemonium with the dogs. They go crazy. They bark and they lunge and it's just been, it's, it's not fun. <laughs> very, very stressful. We're mostly worried that the, the guard is going to put his hand in the car and the dogs bite him. And who knows what would happen to them if that happened. So the solution is to get these soft muzzles that we can put on them for the like four minutes it takes to cross the border and talk to the guards and hand over our passports, etc. They're pretty snug, so but they'll only be wearing them for minutes, so it's no big deal. We have had to have our um, truck searched a few times, and the dogs are taken to this kennel, which is nerve-wracking because we can't see them. They're in this kennel. We don't know who's who's uh, who's there or what they're going to do. It really is difficult owning um, dogs that are reactive like these girls because we know what they're capable of. It isn't because we've been loosey-goosey owners. When we got them, we took them to all sorts of training, sporting. Uh, I would take weeks off work to go down to schools with them. We were just struggling to, keep, to make them normal used to say, can you just be normal for two minutes of my life? Probably when they were about two and a half, three, we kind of went, okay, they'll never be like a normal dog. Then we just kind of adjusted our lives around their life and took on the, the thought of we're keeping them safe from themselves. I remember the very first trainer they had, she took one look at them and she says, they're always going to have to be managed. Maybe not Izzy, but Ellie will always have to be managed. You can tell when they're puppies because their eyes dart and all sorts of, I don't know, there's all sorts of behavior things you can tell. I didn't believe her, but she was right. I've heard so many times, it's not the dog, it's the owners. Well, these dogs, it's the dogs, it's not us, I promise you. They're purebred shepherds, and they were both bred from unstable parents. This is the life of Boba Bobo. This is the life of Boba Bobo. This is the life of Boba Bobo.